the midterm elections are finally over. We are no longer in an election period. In Georgia, Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker are going head-to-head -head injury in the Senate runoff. Uh, Walker spent the day making one final push, which is unusual for him. Usually during the final push, he's miles away from the hospital at a <laughs> Waffle House telling a waitress she could be the one. But um, <laughs> Donald Trump was not in Georgia cam campaigning for Herschel, but he did make a final pitch on his massive social media platform, Truth Social. He wrote, important, tomorrow has become today. <laughs> That's how it goes, I think. It's not really important. Wait till he finds out how yesterday works. He's going to be shocked. But vote today for Herschel. He will never let you down. Unless you're one of his kids. Then he will very likely <laughs> let you down. But the race is expected to be close. They finished within 40,000 votes of each other the last time around, which means it could come down to, of all things, the weather today. It's been raining throughout the state of Georgia, which has Herschel concerned. Come rain, shine, sh uh, sunshine, snow, you got to get out and vote. So you got to get out and vote. Uh, it's raining right now, but don't let that stop it. And I, I say this here. I play football in the rain. I play football <laughs> in the snow. I play football in, in warm weather. Right now, it, what matters is getting out to vote because that's the most important thing you can do right now is to vote, vote, vote. Uh, vote, vote, vote your boat gently down the stream because <laughs> it's raining. It's funny, because Trump... Um, the, the reason Republicans don't tend to mail in their ballots, which is historically they used to do more than Democrats, is because Trump used the mail-in count to claim he was cheated out of the election. So now they tell people vote in person, which means Herschel Walker's campaign is dependent on election day turnout and a little bit of bad weather can do a lot of damage. In other words, big dummy strikes again. But even with the <laughs> bad weather this week, lots of Georgians showed up early to wait in line to vote. Weather, certainly a factor. It is expected to be a rainy one all throughout the state of Georgia today. But we have seen people, especially when they were early voting, willing to stand in hours, two hours, three hours long lines. Including this woman, who represents the influential furry population. <laughs> She's been out there since Halloween. Will somebody give her some candy, please, so she can go home? Of course, no election day would be complete without an unscientific poll from Fox and Friends, who sent a guy all the way to Griffin, Georgia, to find out what people eating oatmeal think. How many people are voting for Warnock? All right. OK, you got one Warnock supporter and Walker. OK, so there you go. There you have it. It's settled then. Why even have the vote? If <laughs> If he's running for senator of Louisa's cafeteria, he won. Congratulations. <laughs> Even though he's a beloved local football hero, Herschel Walker has not exactly inspired passion amongst Republican voters. I mean, if you go down the list of what their party supposedly values most, family values, he's a serial domestic abuser with more kids than uh, Dave and Buster's on a Saturday at noon. His charity, he claimed his company gave 15% of their profits to charity. Three of the four charities listed on his website said he gave nothing. The other said no comment. Pro-life, he was Planned Parenthood's customer of the year, I think. <laughs> Pro-law enforcement, he lied about being a cop, an FBI agent. He exaggerated his non-existent military service. Pro-business, he claimed his chicken factory employed 800 people. It employed eight people. Pro-Georgia, he himself mistakenly admitted he lives in Texas, not Georgia. But he did play football. That is true. <laughs> and now the voters will decide if he stays or if he goes. And I have to say, as a person who does a show every night, the idea that Herschel Walker won't be on camera every day is sad uh, to me. So whatever happens tonight, I just want to say it's been a wild ride. Thank you. Whatever the outcome, I thought it would be nice to take one long look back at one of the most entertaining Senate campaigns in the history of this country. Uh -oh. This direction is about the people. He just not opened up uh, a can of a bear. At one time, science said man came from apes. If that is true, why are there still apes? <laughs> I wonder where is that dog at today? That dog probably saying, oh no. Is that your signature? Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, but you know, I can tell you, uh, I send out so many get well, uh, send out so much of anything. Pronoun? What the heck is a pronoun? My pronoun's sick and tired of y'all talking about pronoun. 
Do you look like we got peanuts in our brain? A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? Thank you, Herschel. This, today was a bad day for our former impotus, Don John Trump. The Kentucky Fried Chickens are finally coming home to roost. A New York jury today found the Trump Organization guilty on 17 counts of tax fraud and other financial crimes. Uh, Trump, is, Trump is bragging. It's the most counts ever. So um, why this took so long, I don't know. I mean, convicting the Trump Organization of fraud is like convicting Wetzels of pretzels. It's what they do. <laughs> Somehow, no one in the Trump family was charged in this case against the Trump Organization, but Trump's longtime friend and CFO, Alan Weisselberg, will serve five months in jail. Nothing ever happens to Donald Trump. He'll probably try to convince us he's never even heard of the Trump Organization. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump's future rival in 2024, the former artist known as Kanye West, made another stop on his Eat, Pray, Love the Nazis tour. He sat for a 45-minute long interview with the founder and former member of the Proud Boys, where he said the Jewish people should forgive Hitler because uh, since history was written by the winners, the world hasn't had a chance to hear things from Hitler's perspective. This has to be a joke, right? There's no Hitler side of the story. Hitler's side was genocide. That was his side of the story. <laughs> Ye then went further. He claimed Jewish people control the majority of the media, along with banks, along with real estate, along with malls, which I don't know what malls have to do with anything. <laughs> if the Jews control the malls, why does Santa work there, OK? <laughs> I'm starting to think this guy's crazy. I really am. Christmas, you know, is only two and a half weeks away. And it occurred to me as I was conditioning my beard this morning that we, we wrap a lot of gifts for our kids, but rarely do we wrap our kids. So tonight we're gonna change that with our first ever on the street rap battle. Well, thank you. My cousin Sal is outside on Hollywood Boulevard. Hello, cousin Sal. What's How are you? Getting good. Everything's good. It looks festive out there. Do you sense the holiday spirit on the boulevard? I do. Uh, well, one of the Hollywood Boulevard Spider Men just vomited up eggnog outside the Walgreens. Oh, so, yeah, I think um, we're good. That we're sounds go. beautiful. Now, Sal, we have two families competing tonight. Mm -hmm. These are people you found wandering by on the street. And uh, let's meet them. Our first family is the Toon family. Are you the Toon family? We are. You are? <laughs> yep. Oh, how about that? Uh, now, what are your names? Let's go. That's Megan right there. Yeah. yeah. And then we can't see your name. Tip. Mark, Megan, and? Sam. Sam, why didn't you get a name tag? I don't know. Oh. My name is, Jimmy G. My name is Chill Vibes. You're... <laughs> All right, Chill Vibes. I uh, hope you're... What are you hoping to get for Christmas this year? Chill? I don't know. You don't know? It's... You better figure it out. He's going to get a muzzle. That's what he's going to get. <laughs> OK. All right. All right. Well, where are you guys from? Cardston, Alberta, Canada. Right. Oh, Canadians. All right. Well, you guys have Christmas up there, right? We sure do. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, let's meet the other family, your opponents. This is the Singh family. Hello, oh. Singh family. Hi. And where are you from? We're from Singapore. And tell us your names real quick. I'm Jacintha. Uh-huh. Uh, Prithvi. And? I'm Annika. Okay. Annika also doesn't have a name tag. <laughs> Annika, what would you like for Christmas this year? I would like a new laptop. <laughs> a new laptop. Anything in particular? Uh, an Apple one. What will you do with this laptop when you have it? Um, I'll probably study or play games. You will probably study or play games. Okay, all right. I'm guessing the latter would be more likely, yes? <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> all right, here we go, kids. Uh, what we're going to do is this. We've got supplies on hand. You, each family, you have 90 seconds to wrap your child. You understand? You ready, buddy? Are you ready to become very festive mummies? Can you hold your breath for three or four minutes, you think? <laughs> All right, we're going to find out. Let's put 90 seconds on the clock. The family that does the best job, as judged by me, wins. Ready, set, wrap those no. kids. All right, here we go. 
Oh, look at this. Already Chill Vibes has decided he's going to go with his hands in the air like a tree or like a diver of some kind. You guys aren't anti-Semitic rappers, are you? Because we've had enough of those lately. <laughs> All right, looking good so far. You ever rapped a human being before? Never. Never? Oh, Never. this is exciting, man. Spin, Sam, spin. Okay. All right, here we go. Such seriousness. <laughs> it's weird how good the sings are at this. Looks like, yeah. like, they've, looks like they've rolled a big doobie is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Jimmy, is this the what? dumbest bit we've ever Someday done? Someday your kids will talk about this in therapy. <laughs> Guillermo, the kid on the left looks like a burrito, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. It's a burrito, yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, we got 25 oh, seconds left. Cousin Sal, how's it looking from your perspective? This okay. is pretty stupid. We once had chickens race with pants, but this is, might be the dumbest. We've this might be the dumbest, yeah. yeah. So. All right, we got, oh, yeah. the bow is going on top. We've got 10 seconds left, every, everybody. Okay. Make your final touches on your children. Sal, get the hot glue guns. Four, Let's get this three, finished. And we've got one, one second. Time <laughs> is up. And happy holidays, everybody. All right. All right, well, let's talk to the, yes, um, how you feeling in there? How you feeling in there, Sam? Weird. Weird? Do you see, this is what it's like to be a present under the tree. Huh. huh. All right, let's check in on the other kid, Annika. Annika, how are you feeling inside your package? I'm feeling amazing. You're feeling good. So you recommend this experience then, huh? Definitely. All right. All right, let me, uh, yes, so widen out so I can see both and, uh, oh boy, they both look um, ridiculous. Uh, I can see some feet there. I'm not gonna deduct any points from that. I think, you know what, I think we're gonna name two winners here. We're gonna name both oh. families winners. We got what? Uh, Everybody gets a cheese platter and Knott's Berry Farm gift cards. It's tickets to Knott's Berry Farm and a cheese platter. Oh, how nice. <laughs> hey, guys, should we have a gift exchange where you then trade kids? Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you for playing along and happy holidays, everybody. Yes, there we go. The, the Toon family and the Singh family. Keep those on for a while. I want to see what it looks like when you walk down the street, okay? <laughs> we'll find Spider-Man. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, one and all. Ta -da, ta -da.